So my story is too close, too far. That's like right up. Anyways, uh, so my story starts with, oh my god, I killed Dabney. Now, I say this while in a loving embrace with uh, a romantic partner, um, whose first reaction, of course, is, who is Dabney? Uh, not quite the place to be. Uh, and so I should back up. And my day started in Peabody, Massachusetts, and it's spelled Peabody, but we call it Peabody, uh, which some people think is puberty, which is a whole other process I'm still dealing with. But um, it started there. I was, it was a Friday morning. I had gotten up. Um, I had got my stuff together, and I had bug bombed my apartment. I was bug bombing it as I left, not while I was still there. Um, and I was left to work, and after work, I was driving six hours down to Pennsylvania to this uh, person who I just shouted in their face saying, oh my god, I killed Daddy. So, you know, I left work, did 95, 90, 84, 80, um, and those are more the speeds than the actual highways. <laughs> you, know, you know, from your state, like the slower you want to go. Um, but I get, you know, there, I'm like having this epiphany at like 9 30, 10 o'clock at night, and of course she's having this other epiphany of like, who is this person? And I have to back up and be like, it's my pet scorpion, right? Oh. So I have my apartment, bug bombing it, and I have a pet scorpion. Um, I am not the brightest bulb in, <laughs> in the bunch. So, you know, throughout the rest of this weekend, I'm sitting there, you know, everything's, you know, hanging out, spending time, blah, 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 doing all these things, but in the back of my head, I'm like, all right, my, my pet scorp my no longer pet scorpion is dead. All right. Um, so I get home Sunday evening, like I come racing back up, and you know, like I'm flooring up the highway, and like, you know, I'm in my early 20s, so you know, I've got like the sound cranked up and listening to my audiobooks, and because uh, <laughs> I'm a nerd, um, and I'm pretty sure I was given the name. Dagny, I'm pretty sure I was listening to At the Shrug, and that was a phase I got over. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, it's more now Toni Morrison and Alice Walker. <laughs> I was doing my class. So I get home, and you know, I get I get in there into my room, and, and I look at the the uh, glass cage or whatever the hell tank. There we go. And I'm like, ooh, I'm like, I, I think she's still alive. I don't even know if it was a he or she. I just decided. Um, and she, she, there's a little life there, and so the first trick is, of course, I've got to get the thing out so that I can clean the tent. And I managed that, I forget exactly how, and then I replace the sand and I put the water in and stuff, and I get some new crickets, and you know, that night everything seems okay. And I wake up Monday morning, and I go and I look in the tank, and there's Dagny face down in the water dish. Right, so I get to work, and where I worked was surrounded by, it was a very fascinating place for a story for another time where I was surrounded by many evangelical fundamental Christians. So I get to work, and I'm like, so this is my weekend, I just forced a uh, scorpion to commit suicide, <laughs> right? Because, I mean, scorpions are right up there with cockroaches, those are the things that are going to survive a nuclear war, and I got it to commit suicide. So I'm there and I'm telling this to co workers, and you know, they're telling they're gonna pray for me. Uh, <laughs> so not what I really need to hear from these people, but whatever. Um, so I get home, you know, this whole day I've been like tormented by the fact that like I, I, I sent this creature to its misery and death. Um, but it's not dead, it's now just standing in the water dish. And for the preceding, you know, two or three weeks of its life, continues to like hang out in the water dish. Um, and all I can think is like, this was a whole metaphor of my 20s, uh, in that like I was, you know, racing along and fully taking advantage of that wonder lust, um, emphasis on the wonder and the lust, uh, and through it all like destroying or, shouldn't say destroying, but like significantly doing harm to people in and around me. <laughs> that didn't end up being that bad, but clearly I, it left this in that. So, that's my story. <laughs>